，生活喺现代城市嘅都市人，无论系衣食住行，都离唔开以电力维持现代生活。连最基本嘅食水，人都依赖政府嘅水务处供应新鲜嘅淡水嚟维持生命及所需。但系，万一发生地震，海啸或火山爆发等嘅天然灾害，导致电力供应中断嘅话，水带连自来水嘅供应都会中断。所以知道点样自制一个唔需要用电操作，甚至只需用一啲就地取材嘅废物所制造嘅简单滤水器，对将会出现嘅危难事件系非常重要嘅维生知识。当电力供应中断。政府唔能够再供应食水，而你处身嘅地方冇清澈又清洁可以饮用嘅淡水嘅时候，就可以用以下片段嘅方法自制滤水器。首先，滤走绝大部分肉眼可见嘅水中杂质，然后再使用原有嘅专业滤水器过滤。咁样唔单止喺危难嘅时候有水可以饮，更可以使手上。专业而昂贵嘅滤水器，唔会因为水源有大量嘅沙石而报废，增加使用嘅年期。但系需要留意，以下嘅方式自制嘅滤水器仍然唔可以直接饮用，因为呢个滤水器并冇针对杀掉水中嘅细菌同埋病毒所设计。Stay away from large groups and unorganized mobs. The potential for disaster is much greater in a mob mentality, where everyone is acting on instinct instead of rational thought. In the event of a global catastrophe, drinking water may become very hard to find. I'm going to show you how to make a water filter out of things that you can find lying around. All right, we're going to show you. How to make a water filter for absolutely free, and it's a good water filter too. I think you'll be amazed. First, you'll notice we have a bottle. I'm using a one-liter bottle here for demonstration, but you're going to want to use a two or three-liter bottle, or a plastic milk jug, or a big high C container, something large. This is just for demonstration right now. This I've already cut off the bottom. I've cut little notches in this part so that the lid goes on easier. Okay, I've got a rock. Okay, I have some small pebbles. I have some medium-sized rocks. We've got sand, and we've got charcoal that I've already pre-broken up. Uh, little BB-sized pieces, and I'll tell you how to do that as I'm demonstrating the filter. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick that up off the floor. We're going to take this. We're going to take our rock. Put that down in there, like that. That's the blocker to keep、uh, to keep everything from falling through. We're going to take our medium-sized rocks here. We're going to put a bunch of these medium-sized rocks, and they're like that. Okay. Then next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a bunch of our pebble-sized rocks. We're going to put them down. Just a couple will drop out, but what will happen is that'll eventually totally stop. Okay, so now that we have that like that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our charcoal and we're going to put that down in there like that. Okay, tamp it down a little bit. Down in there, get it nice and tight, nice and 
packed in there. Then you're going to want to take some more of these smaller rocks. And just put a thin layer on top of here, like that. This is where your sand comes in. Sand always goes on the top. Put your sand in there. Such. You want to leave a little space on top here for pouring your water into. Now, um, like I said, you're going to want to use a two or three liter bottle to do this because um, you'll be able to filter more water and get the water much cleaner. This is just a quick demonstration to show you how well these filters work. So, we have a rock, some medium-sized rocks, small little pebbles, layer of charcoal, and uh, a little layer of smaller rocks, and then sand on the top of that, as you can see here. And that's basically the construction of the water filter, right there. Okay, now for the cool part of the demonstration. Um, I've already run a glass of water through here to rinse the dust off of the charcoal. There's always going to be dust on it. You're going to want to run a glass through. If you're using a 2-3 bo liter bottle, you're going to want to run a couple glasses of water through until you see the water come out clear. Then you'll know you've rinsed all the carbon dust out of there. But anyway, you can see this water very nasty, stagnant, floaters on the top, pretty nasty stuff. You wouldn't drink that in a million years. But once you put it through here, it's going to be a lot better.此外,你也可以就地取材,用枯樹枝燒成炭,就可以加在濾水器裏面作為清潔消毒之用。再者,也可以在濾水器裡面加一些白銀,加強消毒作用,使食水更清潔。